Hey Taurus, I'm about to do y'all singles read for um the rest of June or for whenever you see it. If you happen to see it after June and it resonates, it's still for you. But I pulled y'all animal totem for y'all love life. Somebody sees y'all or y'all are showing up as this owl energy. So someone who appreciates the magic in life or brings the magic to somebody's life. Somebody sees you as an old soul someone who's very wise somebody with a lot of um inner knowing which um translate to like strong um determined way that you show up in regular life hopefully that makes sense but I feel like I could be talking to a tourist who was also very intuitive with the owl. You're able to see into people's soul or see people's intentions clearly. Maybe before they show it, but I'm going to read the message. It says, choose to know the truth because you can open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. So, let's see. I'm going to pull two spreads from two different decks and see what's coming towards y'all in love. Can I get three cards? I got hair all on my cards. Hold on, y'all. Okay, what's coming towards Taurus for the rest of June 2020? Where are they coming towards them and what is their advice? Detached. So I feel like you're, you probably are being very level-headed when it comes to love right now. This detached card, you may be coming off as detached to somebody or you, you're just not very focused on love. You're focused more on the practical things. And then we got the third eye chakra came out right underneath the owl. But you were talking about the owl represents intuition or seeing in the dark. So I feel like um, your intuitive abilities will be heightened for the rest of this month or for the rest of whatever month where you see this. I feel like with the Eight of Swords coming out, it's telling you to, to not second guess yourself so much. To not overthink things when it comes to love. I also feel like with the third eye chakra being here, if you intuitively feel like somebody is coming towards you, a specific person, I definitely feel like they are, since that's the energy coming towards y'all. I feel like with detached being here, or justice being here, it's like you're not settling for anything less than what you feel like you deserve. Let me see. I'm going to pull 10 cards from a different deck. like definitely with the justice and then the seven of swords coming out first got the knight of swords seven of pen i mean seven of wands ace of cups the queen of wands so i feel like this is how 
Like, you know you're the queen of wands. You know you're a catch. I feel like you're very confident, whatever, towards who I'm talking to right now. Or at least it's like you know what you have to offer and you're not willing to settle with the seven of swords. That's the energy of somebody who has their best interest at heart or in mind at all times. And has created clear boundaries when it comes to love or in their life in general. So, I feel like that's good. If you're single, the Seven of Swords is a good energy, I feel. Because of the energy of self-preservation, of making sure you're straight, regardless of what else is going on around you. So... I feel like it's a very slow I feel like nothing's really happening in your love life right now this is for you if it is it's something that's moving really slow because the knight of pentacles in love just gives me like a very dry unexciting type of vibe so you may have your guard up or be very standoffish when it comes to love but like in the recent past, you've gotten love offers, but I feel like you might not trust this offer that you got or the offers that you may have got. You don't really trust them or you feel like it's best for you to just stay to yourself right now. I'm going to pull some more advice at the end, y'all. This is either. <laughs> I feel like you. You feel like it would be nice to be in a loving relationship, but I feel like you're very indecisive about who you want to deal with or if it's worth the risk, some type of risk. Because I feel like you're going to be still very guarded when it comes to some sort of love offer. For the rest of June. I feel like you've been hurt a lot in the past. Like you probably put your energy into things multiple times. Um, and then you ended up feeling drained or hurt. Or like you're regretting the energy that you put in. Somebody in love or people in love see you as conflicted. Or like somebody who is busy and has their energy pulled into many different directions. Um, or somebody who they would have to compete for or fight for because you have your guard up. That's how somebody or people see you in love. You're hoping for this magician energy. So like I said, you're hoping that magically things will turn around in your love life. You're hoping that things will start to look more vibrant, exciting, magical in love. But I feel like it's kind of a contradiction, a contradicted energy you're going to have this month. Because it's like you want love, but you're guarded, wounded, possibly even defensive, not really trusting it. Whether it's just... The offer you're getting from the person or just loving in general you're not really trusting it i feel like with the last card out being the six of pentacles um i feel like this might be you just focusing on your work focusing on your day-to-day -day, like mundane task your schedule um it also could be about i feel like people have already offered you things in love like you have options or an option in love but i feel like this is you pretty much focusing on your money or more practical things things you see as more practical but i feel like with your advice coming out as the eight of swords i feel like it's saying <laughs> the eight of swords is literally about trapping yourself in your own mental prison and I feel like definitely with the other cards that came out, whoever I'm talking to is definitely in a mental prison of like indecision, 
some type of fear and like guarded energy like feeling like they don't know if love is worth the risk so the eight of swords is telling you don't let fear like control your life your love life and your life in general pretty much saying the only thing standing between you and what you want is your um negative thought patterns if this is for you so what is the advice for taurus what's the advice for taurus in love keep in mind this, these energies can change you have free will this is pretty much if you stay in the same energy that you're in right now this is how things are going to play out. See, your advice is miracles. Believe in miracles. Um, You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with your positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Right, you? What? Hold on. Spread the miracle of happiness. So, the hummingbird is a very, like, um peaceful carefree loving energy so don't be scared pretty much or worried about what's the worst that can happen thinking about pretty much the advice is think about what's the best that can happen instead of what's the worst that can happen if you want to get this magician energy um which you do if this is for you but okay, hopefully it's made sense to some tourists out there. Thanks for watching. Peace.